What if every quarterback went to the team that beat them in the playoffs the most? That's what we're gonna find out in today's video. Now, huge shout out to Pro Football Reference. I was able to look up every quarterback and some backups if they started and finished a playoff game. Gonna give you guys all of their playoff records as well. Now, for certain teams like the Chicago Bears, where none of their quarterbacks would play in the playoffs, we're just gonna leave them as is. But there were certain quarterbacks that had the same amount of losses to multiple teams. Like, for instance, Joe who has one loss to the Rams and one loss to the Chiefs so he had to spin a wheel and in his case it landed on Kansas City so that's where he's headed Josh Allen from the Buffalo Bills has three losses to the Chiefs and a five and five playoff record he's headed to Kansas City as well the Broncos remain the same Deshaun Watson from Cleveland has one loss to the Colts and one loss to Kansas City so he had to spin a wheel he has a one and two record in the playoffs and he's also headed to Kansas City the back up in Cleveland famous Jameis Winston has one loss in the playoffs to his former team Tampa Bay which is kind of funny man he's 0-1 in the playoffs and he's headed back to where he was drafted speaking of Tampa Bay their quarterback Baker Mayfield has a 2-2 record in the playoffs one loss to Kansas City and one loss to Detroit the wheel decided to send him to the Lions Kyler Murray has only played one game in the playoffs and it was a loss to the Los Angeles Rams so he's headed to LA same situation as Herbert only one game and it ended up being a loss to Jacksonville so he's headed to the Jaguars Mahomes has played 18 games in his career in the playoffs and he only has three losses one to New England one to Tampa Bay and one to Cincinnati the wheel decided to give the Patriots another elite all-time quarterback that's where Mahomes is headed now for the Colts we're actually looking at Joe Flacco he's 10 and 6 in the playoffs but he has two losses to the Patriots and two losses losses to the Steelers so he had to spin the wheel and he's gonna go to the New England Patriots as well on the commanders Marcus Mariota is one and one in his playoff games his only loss to the Patriots as well now Dak Prescott has two losses to the Green Bay Packers and two losses to the Niners he's two and five in his playoff career and the wheels gonna send him to San Fran Tua only has one playoff game in his career and it was the loss to Kansas City so he's headed to the Chiefs now Jalen Hurts is two and three in his playoff career and two of his losses have come against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so that's where he's going her cousins is one and three in the playoffs with one loss to the Packers one to the Niners and one to the Giants so the wheel is gonna decide to send this man to New York to be their new starter I'm not counting Brock Purdy's game against the Eagles because he did not finish that so he's four and one in the playoffs and the only loss obviously to the Chiefs Daniel Jones is one and one in his playoff career the only loss came against the Philadelphia Eagles Trevor Lawrence is one and one as well with his loss coming against the Chiefs meanwhile Mac Jones has only played one game in the playoffs and that was the loss to Buffalo Aaron Rodgers is 11 and 10 in his playoff career four of those 10 losses have come to the San Francisco 49ers Tyrod Taylor the Jets backup has played one playoff game when he was a starter back in Buffalo and he lost to Jacksonville Jared Goff is a respectable five and four in his playoff career and all his losses were to four different teams he had the Falcons the Patriots the Packers and the Niners so the wheel had to be spun once again and it landed on New England Jordan Love is one and one in his career the only loss came against the San Francisco 49ers now in Carolina we're gonna look at Andy Dalton who was 0-4 in his postseason career two of those losses came against the Houston Texans Patriots didn't have anyone with playoff experience neither did the Las Vegas Raiders but Stafford is 4-4 four four in the playoffs. One loss to the Saints, one to Dallas, one to the Seahawks, and one to the Lions. So the wheel is going to keep him in the same division, and he's going to the Seahawks. Jimmy Garoppolo is a respectable 4-2 and two in the playoffs, with one loss to the Rams and one loss to the Chiefs. So the wheel decided not to keep him on the team he's already on. He's headed to Kansas City. Now Lamar is 2-4 and four in the playoffs, with one loss to the Chargers, one to the Titans, one to Buffalo, and one to Kansas City so he had a spin for him and he's headed to the Bills Derek Carr's only game in the playoffs was a loss against the Cincinnati Bengals Geno's only game in the playoffs was a loss against the Niners and then Russell Wilson is 9-7 and seven in his playoff career two of those seven losses have come against the Atlanta Falcons CJ Stroud is 1-1 one one in his playoff career so far the only loss of course to the Baltimore Ravens Mason Rudolph's only playoff game was a loss to the 
Buffalo Bills. And then the Vikings didn't have any quarterbacks with playoff experience. So here's what the new depth charts are looking like. A lot of quarterbacks have changed locations, but I'm curious who you think will have the biggest impact. Which team is going to the Super Bowl from both conferences? Who's winning MVP on their new team? Let me know your predictions down below. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and like the video if you like ideas like this. Plenty more to be coming in the near future. Now let's go ahead and simulate this season. Gonna go team by team, look at the quarterback stats. Might make it a little bit faster in terms of speed. Lamar so far had the best season I've seen. Jalen, 28 to two, touchdown interception ratio, disgusting. Josh Allen ended up getting a start in Kansas City. Burrow ended up backing them up, man. There's a lot of guys that went to the Chiefs. So no matter what, someone's gonna be mad that one guy had to be the back of Wilson. Went crazy on the Falcons. Dak did his thing with the Niners weapons. Justin Herbert, another good ratio. Zach Wilson, okay, look at him out there. Baker Mayfield did his thing in Detroit. A lot of backups or third stringers were forced to step up. Mahomes didn't have the best season in New England, and I'm not too surprised they don't have the best weapon. CJ Stroud did his thing though. MVP could go to a number of these guys. I'm curious who's gonna go to. Here are the league leaders in terms of passing yards. You have Allen, Prescott, Cooper Rush, Lamar, and Russell Wilson, and then in terms of touchdowns you have Prescott, Stroud, Lamar, Wilson, and Herbert. Might as well take a look at the rushing. You have Jacobs, Mixon, Henry, JT, and McCaffrey in the top five for yards. Najee Harris, Pacheco, JT, Henry, and Mixon. Top five rushing touchdowns. CD, Downs, Drake London, Ayuk, and Khalil Shakir who's gonna have to step up for the Bills in the top five for receiving yards. You have Brandon Ayuk, Downs, Samuel, Zay Jones, Michael Mayer, and Zay Flowers all in the top five for touchdowns. Meanwhile, on defense, first sim or with pretty much updated roster, you see Hassan Reddick on the Jets in the top five amongst others. For tackles for a loss, you have TJ, Crosby, Parsons, Highsmith, and Dexter Lawrence, along with Josh Allen as the top five for sacks. And then McDuffie, Hobbs, Diggs, Edmonds, and Campbell, along with a bunch of guys in the top five for interceptions. Dad Prescott wins the MVP. Man, if you can't beat him, join him and win MVP with their team. Lamar, Allen, Stroud, and Herbert. Looks like the entire top 10 is guys that switched teams. Mahomes still ended up top 10. OPOY goes to Pacheco. DPOY goes to Watt in the AFC. Parsons wins it in the NFC. And IU takes home OPOY. The Bills win 16-1. and Ravens go 15-2. Chiefs, Colts, Patriots, Steelers, and Raiders all make it to the postseason. Any surprises, let me know. Buccaneers end up with the one seed. Hurts helps them get there the Niners and Prescott along with the Falcons and Russell Wilson all had a 12 and 5 record the Eagles Lions Packers and Cowboys end up in the postseason so here is the playoff bracket and here are the first round results Stroud and the Ravens took care of Minshew and the Raiders the MVP Dak Prescott took care of his former team and Cooper Rush Allen and the Chiefs take care of the Steelers and Justin Fields Sean Clifford throws five touchdowns and beats Kenny Pickett in Philadelphia Mahomes goes home in the wild card. Him and the Patriots lose to Richardson and the Colts. And then Russell Wilson outplays Baker Mayfield. The Falcons beat the Lions and they continue their winning ways. 24 to 7, Wilson and ATL beat Prescott and the Niners. CJ and the Ravens keep on rolling. They beat Josh Allen in Kansas City. Sean Clifford does it again. Him and the Packers beat Hurts and the Buccaneers. And then Lamar and the Bills beat Richardson in Indianapolis. So our final four is set. We have the Ravens at the Bills, the Packers at the Falcons. You can't make this up. Stroud with only one loss in the playoffs trying to take that team to the Super Bowl. But Lamar going against his former team now in Buffalo is trying to do the same thing. Meanwhile, the current backup in Green Bay, Clifford, one game away from the Super Bowl. But Russell Wilson is on a mission. And he's going to do his best to stop Clifford from advancing. Lamar on his first drive trying to get them across midfield and he does Mac Collins with the reception third and seven trying to avoid settling for a field goal Lamar to a wide open man Shakir gets the first points of the game Stroud and the Ravens first possession is a nice start from Derrick Henry picking up 12 yards on the ground Justin Tucker puts the Ravens on the board anyways wait a minute it hits off the post and the Bills are gonna have great field position rare miss from the GOAT Lamar trying to capitalize off of this phenomenal 
phenomenal field position. He's going deep near the sideline is Curtis Samuel. He's untouched in for another Bills touchdown. 14-0. To Third and 20. Ravens struggling in this first half. Stroud trying to get something going. He needs to make a play. It's going to be incomplete. They're going to punt the football. Quick three and out. Third and 10. Bills now have good field position again after forcing a punt. Lamar over the middle. Beautiful catch in traffic by Samuel. Tyler Bass going to try to extend the Bills lead. And he does. What a start for Buffalo. Good news for the Ravens. Even though they're down 17, they start the second half with the football. Stroud needs to wake up. That's a nice start. Aguilar with the catch. Time to get Derrick Henry going if they want to have a chance to win. Beautiful run. Picking up a nice gain. Ravens end up settling for three, but they're finally on the board. So now if the Ravens get a stop, who knows what could happen. Lamar on his first pass of this drive. Gonna throw it right to his former team. And now it's Derrick Henry territory right up the gut to start the fourth quarter. It's a seven point game. Second and 14. Lamar trying to bounce back after that interception. Going to his favorite deep threat. Curtis Samuel. What a pass. Next play. James Cook getting the carry. He's been kind of quiet in this one. But that's a huge run at this point in the game. They've already taken two Ravens timeouts. It's third and goal. Getting a touchdown here would be amazing. Lamar gonna do it himself. And that could be the dagger. Ravens got a nice drive going. They're not giving up just yet. Stroud finding Henry out of the backfield. And it's back to a seven point game but they have to get this onside kick recovery or else this one's over and buffalo is gonna scoop it up mac hollins helping them get to the last game of the season now let's find out who they'll be playing against russell wilson and the falcons with the football first Bijan running like a man on a mission if it ain't broke don't fix it robinson with another nice run great cutback picking up another first down their commitment to the run game is beautiful because Bijan is running really well man another big gain this time he gets them inside the 30 now the falcons are at the one yard line it's first and goal and tyler algier is in to steal the touchdown from Bijan. falcons strike first packers first drive led by clifford is going to begin with a nice run by josh jacobs both teams starting off really well on the ground but they're still going to get three points on the board falcons trying to continue where they left off in the first drive wilson stepped up he's gonna let this thing fly downfield darnell mooney what a catch he had a db draped all over him that was jair and he went up and got it over him what a play they're now inside the 10 you gotta get a touchdown after a play like that let's see if Bijan can make it happen yes falcons up two scores third quarter was pretty quiet from both teams but here we go in the fourth packers in a fourth down and 18 in their own territory clifford throws an in completion next play russell wilson with a clean pocket he's going downfield again drake london with the reception they're down to the one a few plays later it's going to be a read option russ going to keep it himself shake off a would-be tackler and put the icing on the cake for the falcons clifford and the packers are headed home still a great run by him so now we have russ and atl taking on lamar and buffalo falcons get the football first in this one russ gonna roll out of the pocket and find his tight end Kyle Pitts who gets the first young way Koo trying to get them on the board first and he does here come the bills on their first drive third and six Lamar finds a wide open man it's Mac Hollins picking up the first very next play it's gonna be a fake handoff and a pass right into the hands of AJ Torrell what a play by the CB though plenty of time left in this one though Russell Wilson off the play action going to his number one wide receiver Drake Lund who's making people miss breaking tackle after tackle and he's gonna waltz his way in for the touchdown here comes Lamar trying to bounce back he's gonna wind up and go deep it's his favorite target once again Curtis Samuel going up and getting it now the Bills are already inside the 10 it's gonna be a James Cook carry and a James Cook touchdown it's a one possession game young way gonna kick another field goal through the uprights 13 to 7 heading into half number two Bills begin with the football in half number two. Lamar going to number.
number one, and Curtis Samuel refuses to let him down another big pickup. This drive is going to end with a field goal, however. Tyler Bass making this a three-point game again. Here comes Russell Wilson, though, having himself a great game. He's going over the middle to Darnell Mooney, who catches that one in traffic. Third and one a few plays later. Algier back in the game. It's going to be a toss to the left, and he's going to get the touchdown. Falcons extend their lead. Bills move all the way down the field on their next drive, and Bass is going to make another field goal, but the Bills desperately need a stop. Can they make it happen? Bijan with the nice spin move picks up the first down, and that should all but do it. So if every quarterback went to the team that beat them in the playoffs the most, Russell Wilson and the Atlanta Falcons would end up winning the Super Bowl according to Madden. Thank you guys for watching to the end. We get the 500 likes on the video. That would mean the world. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.